I don't do a lot of gear reviews. In fact, this is my first for F-Stoppers. But this product is one I've been following since its launch on Kickstarter back in 2013. I didn't invest back then, and I'll tell you why later, but the concept has become a reality, and I'm here to give my honest thoughts. Who's it for? Not a lot of photographers seem to use light meters anymore. Maybe it's because they're chimping at the tiny LCDs on the back of their cameras, or maybe it's because they're using histograms, but I still use a light meter regularly. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to know where my lights are in relation to my subject. While I don't expect Lumu to replace my Seikonic light meter, as a professional photographer, I think that it's certainly worth having in your travel kit. But more than that, with the popularity of mirrorless cameras and other compact cameras these days, which have a price point much lower than standard DSLRs, a $500 Seikonic meter just doesn't make sense. That's where I think the Lumu fits. With anyone who wants a reliable, accurate, ambient light meter without the big price tag of full feature professional units. Now on to build quality. With a CNC milled high grade aluminum housing, the Lumu comes in either silver or black. While it doesn't weigh much, it certainly feels like it's built well. The company says each piece is assembled and built by hand. Lumu comes with a handcrafted leather case and neck lanyard, which both seem to be on par with the quality of the device itself. As far as features go, at 24mm diameter and 18mm thick, Lumu isn't going to slow you down. It's a little smaller than a quarter. What I like most is that it doesn't even require batteries. There are three apps available for the iPhone and Android. Lumu Photo, Lumu Video, and Lumu Pinhole. For my testing, we used the Lumu Photo app, although my assistant used the Lumu Video app and claims it was surprisingly accurate. As I said, the Lumu has free applications built for the iPhone and Android, which require nothing more than a quick download and to plug the device into the headphone port of your smartphone. Once connection is established, you can easily isolate aperture, ISO, and shutter speed readings within ambient environments by tapping on one of those three exposure elements to select it. Hit the measurement button, and the selected element will adjust based on the settings of the other two. For example, if you want to shoot at ISO 50 with an aperture of f11, simply tap the shutter speed value to select it. Once selected, tap the measure field and watch as the shutter speed field changes to the ambient reading. How did it perform? I gotta say, I was skeptical at how well this thing would perform, considering it's a fraction of the size and cost of my professional light meter. The meter is designed for measuring ambient light. This is a limitation with the device which prevented me from investing in the initial Kickstarter campaign. Having said that, it does ambient really well. I mean, as good as my $500 professional Seikonic light meter. Held side by side, the Lumu gave exactly the same readings in an ambient light environment as my other devices. And if that was a little off, the application even allows you to dial in calibration to exacting specifications. That's not to say the unit wasn't without issues. As I mentioned, the meter is only intended for ambient readings. As a studio photographer, this is pretty limiting to me. Although we do shoot most architecture with just ambient light with a few hot lights thrown in for appeal. Now let's talk price. At $149, the units seem slightly overpriced for what they do. I personally like to see it around $99. Bucks. But before the folks at Lumu start blasting me with emails, I should mention they are working on expanding the features and claim that's the reason for the current price. I don't have any concrete evidence, but I have to assume they're working on flash meter functionality. It only makes sense, which would make $149 a steal for a device this accurate. What I liked, size, accuracy, and simplicity. I like that the unit plugs into my iPhone, a device that I'm already carrying around, and my wife likes that I'm hauling around one less piece of gear on our family vacations. What I didn't like, until flash meter functionality comes along, I'd have to say that, along with $149 price, give me pause. The only design issue I noted was that the Lumu doesn't work with all smartphone cases. It rests pretty tight against the headphone port, and even the narrow thickness of some cases is enough to cause the device not to establish a connection. Alright, final thoughts. It makes perfect sense to integrate our smartphones with a device like this. Build a quality piece of gear, then slowly integrate additional features through software. I think the folks at Lumu are doing things right, taking their time to make sure software isn't buggy. We didn't experience any issues with ours, by the way, in crafting a quality piece of gear. I plan on keeping this little guy in the travel bag with my Olympus OMD and look forward to seeing what future software updates they have in store. Even if you already own a professional light meter, like a Seikonic 358 or 758, I think the Lumu is still a worthwhile piece of gear, especially if you're a natural light photographer.